I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years now, and back in the day when I was first covering games on this channel, there weren't a lot of superhero games to look forward to. We had the Batman Arkham franchise, which was amazing, and then we had a bunch of movie tie-in games, which weren't that amazing, but then we also had the Injustice franchise, which also was a ton of fun. These days though, it's a renaissance. There are superhero games coming left and right. There's so much to look forward to. So I wanted to go over in today's video, seven Marvel games that you can look forward to that will be releasing soon. A lot of the games on this list are massive AAA action adventures and we're gonna go over it, but let's jump in and start off with the main one, the obvious one, the one that's coming out in just a couple of months from now, Marvel's Spider-Man 2. That's right, this is the sequel to the Spider-Man and PS4 game that launched in 2018 and as well a continuation of what we got in 2020 with Spider-Man Miles Morales and now in this game you get to play as both Spider-Men there's web wings the symbiote suits in there too Peter's got control of it with all new symbiote abilities the open world is twice the size from what it was in the first two games and of course we have massive new villains like Kraven the Hunter the Lizard and as well none other than Venom there's so much promise here from Insomniac games and what they're going to deliver on with Marvel Spider-Man 2 and it will be launching this year on October 20th but you guys already know so much about this game if you've been watching this channel up until this point so I really don't need to give you guys that much of a rundown for it however there are still some people out there that are currently unaware of the fact that a Wolverine game is also in development as that was announced alongside Spider-Man 2 back in 2021 during the PlayStation showcase this Wolverine game is also in development at Insomniac Games and for those wondering how exactly they're managing managing developing both of these superhero games at the same time well it's because first of all they are a massive studio but second of all for those who were unaware spider-man miles morales was made by a completely different team than the original spider-man game in 2018 so while brian intahar is currently the creative director working at insomniac games on marvel spider-man 2 and was the original creative director for spider-man ps4 brian horton was the creative director for spider-man miles morales and is now shifting focus to marvel's wolverine it's also been seen online as well that a lot of folks at insomniac are wrapping up their work on spider-man 2 and are now transitioning to marvel's wolverine my assumption is now that we're closer to october 20th that release date for spider-man 2 it's starting to become all hands on deck for the Wolverine game. And now we currently don't have a release date for Marvel's Wolverine. However, Jeff Grubb, who is a known insider and has had plenty of accurate information, has said that the game could be coming as early as next year. He did mention that he expects there to be an internal delay and we may not see it up until 2025, which is when most people are expecting to see the Wolverine game. But if Insomniac nails the landing and they surprise us, a Wolverine game next year would be so exciting. Jeff Grubb has also mentioned that this game is aiming to be rated M for Mature, which is something that I'm very glad about. You need to do Wolverine right, and I think Insomniac is aware of that, so going for that M rating is something that I'm happy to hear. Plus, it's said that the game might be semi-open world, which is something that's akin to the God of War game, so that's very interesting, and we also know, based on that reveal trailer, that it might be taking place in Madripoor. There are several theories about the story for the game, and we can actually see, considering that it might be taking place in Madripoor, at the end of the trailer, there's an eye patch on the table right before Wolverine and pulls out his claws i mean kind of you know on the nose there but this was an alter ego that wolverine used when he was on the run and trying to hide himself in madripoor who knows what's going to happen in this game what other x-men related stuff we might see in it but i am so excited that the next marvel game coming from insomniac after spider-man 2 will be a wolverine game he's one of my favorite characters from the comic books and I cannot wait to see what Insomniac has in store. Up next, we also know that EA is publishing a Iron Man game that's going to be developed by Motive Studio. They're the guys behind the recent Dead Space remake or Star Wars Squadrons, as you might remember. And I believe they were also responsible for the story mode specifically in Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you ask me, they got a pretty solid track record. And EA as a publishing studio has done a good job at making good for the fans after the mistakes that they had made in the past. Look at the Star Wars Jedi games. They're doing the best they can right now with great single player action adventures. And per job posting, that's exactly what Marvel's Iron Man is going to be. A single player action adventure game that's set in its own Marvel universe. It's not going to be this big multiplayer game with tons of microtransactions. Job postings have also hinted that the game may indeed be an open world game, which I am very happy about. And then as well, that it's gonna be using Unreal Engine 5. So a game on the current consoles or maybe even on next gen consoles consoles depending on how far out it is as well as a game being developed from the ground up with the latest tech in video games being Unreal Engine 5 by the guys who made the Dead Space remake 
that's a hell of a triple whammy keep your eyes peeled for this one and also make sure you subscribe to the channel as i'll keep you up to date on all the games on this list if you cannot wait for the upcoming marvel games that are on the horizon i need you to scroll down hit the thumbs up button share your excitement with me and let's get 4,000 likes for today's video okay i have to be honest with you here originally on this list i had a mobile game by the name of marvel world of heroes and it was from the same guys that did pokemon go there was a lot of promise this had a soft launch i think in new zealand and it was planned to drop sometime this year and well it was one of those games that i wanted to mention that was in development and potentially releasing soon but in the midst of making this video it was announced that niantic has unfortunately laid off tons of employees closed down their la studio and are ceasing production on Marvel World of Heroes. Really some sad news, honestly. I feel for all the people that were unfortunately laid off in this situation, and I honestly don't know how a Marvel game doesn't get through on the mobile market. But for whatever reasons that I unfortunately do not have the knowledge on, something happened here and they have to cease production. I don't know if that means that it's canceled entirely. Who knows, it might get picked up at some point in the future. But as of right now, it looks like this game might not happen. I'd still say hold on to like a glimmer of hope just in case at some point in the future it gets picked up. Because again, the idea that it's a Pokemon Go game, but for Marvel really sounds like it could do well. We also know that we're going to be getting a Captain America and Black Panther game. They're teaming up in this incredible AAA action adventure that's coming from Skydance New Media with Amy Henning at the helm. Amy Henning is actually responsible for the Uncharted games, or at least a lot of your favorite ones. So I'm telling you, this is one to look out for. Currently, information for this game is pretty scarce. We don't even actually know an official title. It's just an untitled Black Panther Captain America game. But we do know that it takes place during World World War II, you can play as Captain America, Black Panther, or a member of the Dora Milaje, or a World War II soldier. I gotta be honest with you guys, I think the folks at Skydance New Media have a lot of work to do in terms of convincing us to want to play as anybody besides Captain America or Black Panther, although a Dora Milaje sounds pretty fun, I just feel like they should have done something other than a World War II soldier. Like, I don't know, maybe make it Bucky Barnes, or just something a little more interesting for Captain America's side of things. Nevertheless, though, I don't want to put any doubt on this again with Amy Henning behind it, and a really good team of some industry veterans. But considering the game doesn't even have a title, I think we are quite a ways away before we're even going to hear anything else about this game. Now let's jump into the rumor territory. This game is currently unconfirmed, but comes from a source that also confirmed the Iron Man game before it was even initially announced. You see, Jeff Grubb, who we were just talking about when I mentioned that Wolverine game, said a long time ago that a Black Panther game is currently in development at EA. And this is separate from the Captain America Black Panther team up. You see, a little while back, before EA officially announced that they're going to be making an Iron Man game, Jeff Grubb said that they're working on an Iron Man game, but he also said that Black Panther is on the list of EA games that we're going to see at some point. And from what he had mentioned, the story setup for the Black Panther game is that T'Challa actually has passed away at the start of the game, and it's a creative character where we're going to be taking up the mantle of the Black Panther. And it's also said that this will be an open world game, according to Jeff Grubb. I am very much looking forward to seeing when they officially announced this what team is working on it currently what it's going to look like and what the story will be beyond what the setup is and that brings us to our seventh and final game that we know currently is in development at marvel games and will be releasing at some point in the future but right now it's currently unknown you see back when marvel's iron man game was announced to be in development by motive studio and published by ea it was also announced that ea had signed a deal with marvel on a multi-year multi-game partnership and it was said in the official press release that EA is going to be developing at least three single player action adventure games that are going to be set in their own Marvel universe. So we know we got Marvel's Iron Man that's been officially announced. Rumors say, according to Jeff Grubb, that a Black Panther game is also on the way. That leaves one more mystery game that we currently don't know about. Considering that rumors have said that the Iron Man game is going to be open world, considering that Jeff Grubb is saying that the Black Panther game is going to be open world, I can imagine that this third single player action adventure will follow suit. And who knows what character they could utilize that could work in an open world setting. I know a lot of people want like a Deadpool game that's a very popular character in Marvel right now who did get a game at some point before and was kind of fun, but was sort of like a hack and slash. So maybe like a a proper open world Deadpool game could be something fun to explore. But you know, someone like me, I would love to see like a Fantastic Four game. That would be incredible to have an open world option to even have some online co-op in there where you can play as either, you know, the Invisible Woman, Mr. Fantastic, 
Human Torch or The Thing. And I know for a lot of people out there as well, they really want to see an open world Daredevil game. I would be very down for that. There are a lot of characters in the Marvel catalog that would deserve their own game and have the popularity to bring in a ton of sales. Unfortunately though, considering we know that the Iron Man game is still pretty far out in development and as well knowing that the Black Panther game hasn't even been announced officially yet, this third mystery game is quite a ways away. But just know, for all of the games on this list, I got you guys covered right here on this channel for all the news and updates and reveals, trailers, gameplay, and all that. And with that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. What amongst these seven games are you most excited to play? Sound off with your thoughts in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.